but I appreciate it. Yeah! Get him in the nipple. Get his nipple. Oh, here it is, the St. Patrick's Day edition of the 15-Minute Morning Show podcast. Hello there, my little shillelies. Hello. Hello. Hello, hello. hello. Hi. Look at that. Lots of green. I have a little bit. There's green, a little bit of green in here. No, oh, it counts. We'll what take is it. That? What is Gar Garrett wearing? Garrett's oh, shirt. Sorry. Oh. sorry. The, big, sorry. the big Irish belly sticking out. Let me see yeah. that again. Yeah. Hold on. There. there it is. <laughs> I love it. Very convincing. I like there the belt. Well, oh, there's Gandhi not wearing green. I'm wearing there's, green. Yep. Oh, you are wearing green. There's yeah. Froggy definitely wearing green. Danielle's yep. wearing green. Mm -hmm. Scary's wearing black. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, of course, Garrett wearing green. Uh, and Scotty B, there's your green. And Brody Brody's has green, green on. He's got Jets, a Jets shirt on. Oh, I can't see Brody. He's no. in my, he's in, let me, I can't see him. Mm. He's got anyway, gang green the on. limited That's edition right. Lucky Charms that turn your milk green. Ooh. Oh, nice. Yes. Do you drink the milk after, like, it is, I mean, it's green milk. Are you going to drink the green milk yes. when you're done with the cereal? Of course. Tastes better. Oh, please be careful because you have no idea how old the milk in Scotty B's studio oh, ever the is. Here, the milk in here is already green without the cereal. Oh, oh no. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, so Scotty. <laughs> so when I was growing up, if you were caught not wearing green on St. Patrick's Day, then you could be pinched. People could pinch right. you. Right. Oh, really? Oh yeah, yep. that's how I, that's how I always I always got pinched because I always forgot go. about it because it's not you know a big holiday for Indians. But I appreciate <laughs> it. Yeah, get him in the nipple. Get his nipple. <laughs> what, you don't like my cassette tape shirt? <laughs> there's not any green cassette. in any of those labels. No, there's nothing. Uh, in all green. fairness, Scary has said he only has five t-shirts, so that's the one of five that he's there wearing today. Mm. All right, what do you guys want to do today? Because I'm just gonna eat my. Lucky Charms. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have a game we can play. We always like playing games. We do. Well, well, Nate usually does the games, but he's on a phone call. Why is he on a phone call? He knows this is the time for the podcast. Why would he take a phone call? Am Who I are you talking one? to, Nate? Am I the only one that in elementary school we made Irish soda bread on St. Patrick's Day? Who? No. Yeah, yeah I don't know what did. that is. Oh, you never? Oh, ooh, I got to send can't you wait, 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 What was the question? I said, in elementary school, am I the only one that made Irish soda bread every St. Patrick's Day? They brought us to the kitchen, and we made Irish soda bread. Really? You did? Cool. Yeah. Well, you can't do that anymore, Scotty. No, you can't. You can't have uh, holidays that signify Cannot. anything. Nope. So. <laughs> Is um, Nate trying to take care of the food. interview? There's no food at schools anymore. Right. So, we're, we're, so we still have no plan for this 15-minute morning show podcast? I mean, I mean, we could play we're doing the soda rather. bread thing. Mm -hmm. it's kind What's of, that, Brody? We were talking about Scotty's soda bread. That should give us another 20 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just piece it together second by second. Scotty, if Scotty you don't cut have a anything... hole in the soda bread and had sex with it, we got a show. I'm I was surprised. in fourth grade. He don't have anything <laughs> gross to uh, contribute, Scotty? No, usually... I, got, I got nothing going okay. on. You never did well, anything I, gross with a soda bread? Scary got yelled at because he went on our show and said St. Patrick's Day basically is just for American Irish to get, go out and get drunk. Well, and, yeah, well, I, I said, all, actually, all of us is what you said. I said it's an excuse for Americans in general to go out and drink. And you That's got, why people go... You, you got know, yelled at. Oh, someone on text. Scary, shut the fuck up. Oh. To, ma <laughs> to many Irish Americans, it's much more than an excuse to drink. What a loser. I'm sorry. Oh, you got called a loser, but too. But there is a stereotype about about the Irish, the St. Patrick's Day, and drinking. A holiday for there drinking. Is. And why are things stereotypes? Because they are true. That's Ooh. why things become stereotypes. Not always. Oh, my God. Shot wow. fired. Wow. Okay. <laughs> pew, 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 pew. Go have a meatball there, right, you well, Italian. Explain, but, I mean, explain yourself. No, but, no, but it's true. I mean, who does? I mean, mo most Irish people I know make jokes about Drinking on St. Patrick's Day, drinking at funerals, use it, you know, the Irish exit. You know, I mean, you, we all know about this holiday, and it, I hear that in Ireland it's celebrated a lot differently. We asked here on this show, what is I, what, why do we celebrate St. Patrick's Day in America? And all I'm telling you is, it's an excuse for Americans to drink, like the non Irish people. Now, if you are Irish, is. Please let me know what. Give me more background. Scary, to Scary, if you, if you it's were certainly like, certainly not coming to well, the well, forefront. Hold on. Well, Garrett's Irish. Let's ask him. Garrett. Garrett. S scary, if you have to go with the defense of, well, it's a stereotype, so it has to be true. Stereotypes well, don't. Mean Garrett, you look at the shirt you're wearing with a Cor beer belly. A, an Irish guy with a bow tie and a beer belly. It's oh, true. Right. Of course. It's I, a drinking you, you, shirt. 
Oh, okay. Some people can play into it, and, and just like many people amongst <laughs> friends, you either go with the joke or you, you you take offense to it. For many Irish Catholics out there, this is a very very big holiday. You know that okay that that's out there. So to stereotype every single person out there, you know, like does every single Italian you know eat meatballs for every day and eat pizza? No. no. Yes. You know what? yes, they do. Yes, yes, they do. If somebody cracks Sorry, a joke, Garrett, yeah. I laugh because I have a sense of humor. I'm not triggered. I'm not a snowflake about it. That's all. Everyone, we, we oh, can laugh at so ourselves. So scary, every Italian is in the mafia. <laughs> no, that's so scary. Oh, <laughs> First of all, that is the fakest laugh I've ever heard. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, but he's well, not offended. Well, What's scary's point is he's not, not offended. Not but hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. There is something to be said for the fact that they're saying this is the day that they drove pagans out of Ireland. And there, there's, right. a, there, there, there's a serious, there, there is a serious note to why we're commem commemorating this day. I hear. I, I wish someone would correct me or let me know if I'm right or wrong. Right. Does anyone want a Wikipedia? Well, when I looked it up, it, it said the same thing. It said that this was not only driving out the paganism, but the start of Christianity in Ireland. So okay. maybe some pagans get sad on St. Patrick's Day. That's have we thought fair. about them? That's fair. What does that have to do with <laughs> drinking? <laughs> Are it's more of the I, celebration. I, I don't have it's, anything. It's not about there. just getting wasted. It's about celebrating. Right, but like I feel like every every brand in America also takes advantage of it. Like you know, think of all the liquor brands that are out there. It's everyone does things on St. Patrick's Day. Kiss me, I'm Irish, and the and the shirts. Well, no, but, and the, and the, but, well Garrett, yeah, remind you, it's more right. than just doing shots. It's about celebrating with your friends. Well, and I'm okay with that. The thing is, right. I would like that. Why is that not more at the forefront? It's more of a question than anything. I'm gonna else. Irish exit. I feel I like I should. Gary, <laughs> oh, oh, we're gonna exit with you now. That's the opposite of an Irish exit. Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, that was a, like a deliberate yeah. exit. Yeah. <laughs> that was I'm, I'm, I'm getting my ball and going home. Yeah. <laughs> I got to tell you, these uh, Lucky Charms are fabulous. Yeah. Oh, yeah? Mm, five yeah. bowls. Is this St. Patrick's Day really about the the, uh, the McShake, the McFlurry? Oh. Isn't that what oh, Shamrock really about? Shamrock so shake. Good. Shamrock yeah. shake. Yeah. And the Krispy Kreme uh, donuts for St. Patrick's Day are amazing. I'm so excited. And hey, when Can't I wait. think of Ireland, I think of Krispy Kreme. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. And Shamrock shake. Well, donuts have O in them. They're like an O. So. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's a, that's a far stretch for a joke. Right? Yeah. <laughs> really? I know. But it did take me long, so it counts for points. Yeah, you got points. some points. By the way, I had my first green bagel this morning. No. I've never eaten one before because I always assumed they would taste differently. And I got I got convinced to eat one, and it was fine. But I always hated, like, they because they look green, I didn't want to eat them. I would imagine, well, you, you eat... like, other things, if they're the wrong color, you don't eat them. You don't eat things green typically, though. So That's correct. So that's why I didn't want to eat a vegetable bagel. But <laughs> <laughs> apparently it's just food coloring. So, yeah. you know, out of all of us, Froggy is really the only one who's going to be out celebrating today. Yeah, I'm going out I'm going to, to, a, uh, going I'm to the beach. I am going to a little party, a little friend's house party. And where are you going, Froggy? I'm going to the beach. We, uh, we, gave some, uh, we did a little contest here on the radio station here in Jack's. And so we are having a celebration at Colhane's Irish Pub on Atlantic Beach. Uh, it is, you know, set up outdoors, and they are following all the proper protocols and whatnot, but we are still at least having some sense of normalcy and doing things to get back. So Danielle's going to a smaller version just with, with some friends, right? Yeah, one family, and we're just like, the husband is, is Irish, and so we're, she tries to do something special for him, which is nice, and so we just, we're going to get together tonight. We're I'm going to have some corned beef sandwich and hang out with my schnauzers. <laughs> <laughs> Danielle, are you going to get drunk with the guy like Scary predicts? I do not think so, but thanks. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. Stereotypically, you should. <laughs> so I lived in Boston before, obviously, I moved to New York with all of you. And it is crazy on St. Patrick's Day in Boston. And every year, our radio station will do these giant parades. And people get so excited. And for me personally, it was the most miserable experience ever because it's freezing right now in Boston. And you're just outside. And, of course, all the drunks are throwing stuff at you while you're on a float Wait, waving at them. You mean there oh. was liquor served? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. There are Irish people in Boston? It's crazy. Okay. <laughs> also, it doesn't matter if they serve the liquor. They're coming out with their own liquor anyway. It's a parade route. I mean, Scary's they, going. They, He's yeah. leaving. He's going to Boston. You're right. <laughs> Scary, you could get there in about Shipping four up. hours from where you are. Go, go. Uh, you know, it was a couple of years ago. I celebrated in Delray Beach. I hosted mm. the, uh, the St. Pat's Parade there, and we were on a trailer or some kind of a float, I don't know, in the parade, and it was... I don't know. It was a blur of an afternoon. Hey, speaking of yeah. <laughs> blurry afternoons, remember when we used to go to that uh, big event in West Palm Beach? 
Oh, yeah. Sunfest. Sunfest. Captain Morgan party Sun- boat. Yeah, we would the always- party barge. <laughs> Sunfest. Whatever it was, yeah. Sunfest was the name of the, of the event. Yeah. And they always put us on the Captain Morgan Captain Morgan party barge. That's right. Which I'm telling you right now, I'm surprised that thing is still afloat. Yeah. <laughs> to be honest. Yeah. It's so, still there. Seriously. I mean, we, we would be on this huge party barge with hundreds and hundreds of people in a DJ and the music's going and the thing is rocking Rock like this. I'm back like, and forth like I'm this. Like, guys, I'm going to meet you back on shore. <laughs> right. Yeah. A Does, couple of times I thought we weren't going to make it out. <laughs> I know. It's like, I don't know if I, this is my idea of celebrating today. Yeah. But it wasn't St. Patrick's Day. I don't know. But uh, I don't know. Who's Who wants to say something? I'm tired of t- trying to come Talking up with Talking about St. Patrick's Day? <laughs> the, 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 I, I, how many angles can you come up with for St. Patrick's Day other than, you know, right. Gary gets yelled at by people who are Irish? Or what else? <laughs> we used to have all those I just want to know what Nate's Day. doing on the phone. Nate's, he's, Nate's he's, in, in, in some kind of... Oh, now he's laughing. He looks like he's business. having a casual Nate, conversation. come on. We need you on well, the podcast. <laughs> What was that, Scotty? So we used to have all those great St. Patrick's Day broadcasts. Remember Tavern on the Green and all those other places that we would go? Yeah. yeah. Connolly's. Yeah, yeah, we used to do every St. Patrick's Day, we would do the morning show, and we'd sit there and smoke cigarettes and get drunk. You know, oh, it wow. was uh, this day in 1998 that we met David Brody on St. Patrick's Day. Oh, wow. At oh, wow. Connolly's. Is that true, yeah. Brody? Yeah, so uh, I had been writing parodies for the show from January to March, and Scary said, oh, we're going to do this live remote. You should come down and meet everybody. And it was the year that there was a problem back in Secaucus in the in the home office. Remember that? Elvis? And half the show had to go back. Yes. Uh, and wasn't there, so I met Elliot and uh, Danielle. Mm-hmm. But I think uh, the other people were back in the studio. And I met uh, Greg T, who lied to me about his history in radio, um, <laughs> and told me a whole story about his huge radio career in Florida and how you guys begged him to come back. And then, of course, never thinking I'd work with him or, nice. or get to know him. Oh, Not exactly. Later, I found out he, he worked one day in Florida yeah. and came crying back. It didn't happen <laughs> no. quite like he describes. That's yeah, but he was out on the street going, yeah, so I was establishing myself in Florida. And then they couldn't do the show without me, so they begged me to come back, and now here I am again. Isn't that how <laughs> the show had to pile into the creepy van with no seats? Yes. <laughs> yes, and we were going, we would sit, and then someone would make a turn, and you'd yeah. go, Rip! <laughs> We had to sit in the back of the Z100 van, which yep. had no seats, but had a bit, the spare time tire was back there. Yes. So we sat on the spare tire. That was our seat. And carpet. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> yeah. Oh. I remember the one of the first events I worked as an intern was at um, a tavern on the green, and the parking was so expensive, and I wasn't getting paid anything, like $4.25 an hour. It was ridiculous. So... I actually paid to work that day because it cost me more to park than my paycheck. And back then, I couldn't expense anything. So I was just like, well, I guess I'm taking one for the team. <laughs> so that's how I- and now look at you. <laughs> that's how it works. Stop barking. Hey, hey oh, so you, you told Scary that, you know, that what, what the tradition is if you're not wearing green on St. Patrick's Day, right? I believe Nate is in the same boat as Scary. You get oh, pants. Yeah, oh, yeah. he's got a Guinness yeah, shirt. There, he's got the Guinness. Guinness. He's got Guinness. Another drinking-themed Irish shirt. No, oh, I, no. his nipples are still going to get it. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> get the nipples. Oh, no. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. oh, my God. He's chasing him around. Come back. Come back. <laughs> oh, my God. He cha- oh, now Elvis chased him down the hallway, and now he's got him cornered because there's no way making him escape. It's play a by dead play, end. scary. It's a dead end back there. Oh, my God. That video looks like something you would see in one of those, like, true crime documentaries where all of a sudden there's just a scuffle. Everything moves around. Now there's an empty chair. (laughs) Scary is everyone alive. Oh, yeah. Scotty's going to take us down. Scotty, get the play-by-play. Scotty, get in there. No. What's he doing? Nope. He got him? Oh, Scotty B was was on the move. That's so weird seeing the studios. We haven't been there for so long. I know. It's a shithole. (laughs) <laughs> it really is a shithole. You should see. Hey, let them see. Let, let them see. Uh, can I take oh. my hand? You can take yours out. You just oh. unplug it. Oh, look at this. Is our Norwegian oh, cruise ship still there? Oh, it's there. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Okay. Oh. Well, I mean, that's you know that's Adam always been still there. there. Oh yeah. <laughs> Nate. Oh, it's there. funny to see Nate in two screens. Okay, the toilet seat. Yeah. Uh, oh. That looks like a shithole for yeah, sure. Yeah, it does look like a, yeah. yeah. My Those are our God. Snacks. That's our table of snacks back there. <laughs> it's a mess. What's on the table of snacks these days? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's God. running low. This, Those snacks have been there for a year. Uh, but I love how there's not a lot of people uh, there, so how does it become a shithole? I don't understand. Oh, the three my. of them. Because anything like, that gets sent to us, we just leave around. Oh, this is all that's yeah. left wow. of that Nobody quarantine else works snacks in the station. from a year Scotty. ago. 
Daddy, yeah. you remember that day the coffee machine was on the fritz and it was spraying water everywhere? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> there was inches of water all over the carpet. Oh, my God. And you guys just left? Yeah, why not? Yeah, okay. <laughs> what a mess <laughs> over there. All yeah. right, I'll throw shit away. Holy crap. <laughs> that is a disaster Nate, Nate's zone. Nate's got a box of tampons down there. What are you... Are you, are you they're not well, because everyone just abandoned this place on March 18th, and we never cleaned anything up. We just left it. In my defense, yeah, I guys... left on March 17th. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you can't talk shit about Danielle's desk ever again. See, that's Her right. desk is probably pristine it's... compared to whatever the hell that was that and just it, happened. And at least it's collectibles, not we've been, like we've trash. Been looting, we've been looting your desk. There's nothing left. What right, do you mean you're looting? We got to go. We got to go. We're oh, over, asshole. and we're really talking about nothing. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> He's talking okay. to the dog for those that are listening. <laughs> <laughs> we got a problem. We got to go. The dogs are going nuts. We got to go. Bye. 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 <laughs>